In Sporty News Today, a wax figure of Teddy Reiner. Rihanna pokes fun at Jermaine Defoe, Barack Obama gets NBA stars to play, Fabien Gillot's Fear of Water, Travis Rice to star in the upcoming SXX. At 22, Teddy Reiner has made judo history by winning five world championship titles, something no judoka had ever achieved before him. And to immortalize this amazing feat, the famous Musée Grévin of Paris has decided to make a wax figure of the French judoka. The unveiling date of the statue has not yet been disclosed, but it should be any day now. David Douillet, another French judo star, already had his own statue, so Teddy Reiner definitely has his place among the famous residents of the museum. Rihanna loves football, but what she loves even more is poking fun at footballers. The Songstress gave a concert in London mid-November, which English player German Defoe attended with a few friends. A huge Rihanna fan, he wanted to meet her backstage. Mission accomplished. He met the singer in her dressing room. She welcomed him with a hug and rather odd words. Oh, Jermaine, you play for Arsenal, yeah? I've heard all about you. Defoe is in fact the striker for Tottenham, Arsenal's arch-rival. But the singer was kidding, of course. After leaving Jermaine and his friends speechless, she added, Gotcha, only joking, you'd look great in red though. So Jermaine, you get the message. To have a chance with Rihanna, he'll have to side with the enemy and sign with Arsenal during the next transfer window. The President of the United States, Barack Obama, is a huge basketball fan. The Chicago native is a Bulls fan, of course. Frustrated by the NBA lockout, the President decided to organize a match to raise funds for his future campaign. Barack Obama is indeed running for a second term in office. The Obama Classic Basketball game will take place December the 12th in Washington and feature a dozen NBA players, including Carmelo Anthony, Chris Paul, Ray Allen, Chris Bosch, Kevin Durant, and Dwight Howard. Tickets will cost between $100 and $5,000, and proceeds will go towards the Obama Victory Fund. Fabien Gillot's story may inspire some children. In a video produced by his equipment supplier Speedo, the French 2008 European 100m free swim vice champion admits that he was afraid of water when he was a child. When I was little, I had a huge fear of water. I was terrified of the moment when you had to let go of the wall and grip the line two meters away on the other side. Now water is my whole life. My day revolves around improving my swimming performance, but I also just love the sea, the ocean, the waves. And I love the unique feel of the water, of gliding, of floating especially. De fluidité et d'apesanteur surtout. Luckily for Fabien, he was able to overcome his fear. With the French four-time 100 meters team, the Marseille native is in the running for a spot on the podium at the upcoming London Games. Zach Guilford is making news yet again. The All Blacks wing is accused of harassing and insulting a New Zealand triathlete while she was out jogging. Kelly Pick sent a letter to her local newspaper explaining that the rugby star was drunk driving a scooter and tried to run her over while screaming obscene insults. This happened the same day he reportedly attacked two people in a Cook Island bar, naked and drunk. The All Black star obviously still has unresolved issues with alcohol. EA Sports has just announced that Travis Rice will be a character featured in the upcoming SSX, the snowboarding video game scheduled for February 2012. Travis Rice is an American snowboarder who has won a number of international medals and rewards. He pulled off an amazing performance at the X Games in the Big Air, Slope Style and Best Trick categories. He also stars in the new snowboarding flick The Art of Flight. With Travis Rice animated in SSX, the game seems set to become the sports video game event of early 2012.